All right, here's a custom combo again that I have uh, done myself. Uh, everything that you see was bought from David Beasley of uh, Toy Trucks and More. Uh, that's where everything was bought, parts and truck, trailer. The load was, uh, this was all bought at St. Louis Farm Toy Show 2013. The load is a uh, John Eshy coil. But uh, John was in uh, David's room helping David, so I consider it all to be bought from the same place. I'm going to kind of review the trailer and the truck and show you the things that I have done to it. As this is my first custom, custom, not just a different combination of truck and trailer. Alright, you'll see it's a two-tone truck. It, uh, the only disagreement I, that I don't like about the truck, and this is not anybody's fault but DCPs uh, or whoever struck that model, is that the hood, the decal goes down towards the center of the hood, and I don't care for that. But looking at it from the side or anything, it still looks great. It has uh, round chicken lights, as installed by. DCP and of course it's got the rivets and all that and uh, here's uh, the first change the biggest I guess you could say change that's noticeable is this chrome piece on top of the sleeper I had that put on and I had uh, the two black antennas with red tips those were put on by a uh, by David up at the show and also the half fenders were put on at the show now here's a, a difference that I didn't want because the trailer I wanted to put on it was a trailer with a bulkhead and if you have a bulkhead in my opinion you don't need a headache rack so the rack was taken off of this one and replaced with a pogo stick and uh, that's how that was done now these half fenders are the uh, truck and little half fenders so you, you're great to hook this up to whatever trailer as you can see let me turn the fifth wheel flat it's not going to interfere with anything nothing will interfere with those fenders uh, one big one big plus for me on this truck was this right here this caterpillar motor that's pretty much what sold me on the truck was having the big cat that, that was one of the major things that made me just go, mm, that's great. That's a great truck. So, that's that. That's this truck. Uh, I'd say that this is probably my favorite in my collection because of the fact that it's kind of my idea to do it the way it's been done. So, that's the truck. Moving on to the trailer, and we'll do the load last. It's just a typical Wilson road brute from DCP. Uh, it's just a, it's silver as they say, and it's got a uh, bulkhead, toolboxes just between the tandems, and then elsewhere. It's got uh, backup lights and turn signals and marker lights and such. And like I say, it's just a typical DCP flat. And here we are, we'll actually review the load. Uh, you, the load is nice. It's a uh, resin, as you can see there. It's good quality. It's good. The details are painted. The D, the D rings are painted. And uh, that the D, sorry. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the D ring. See that right there. That's D ring, and then you can see the end of the bungees and stuff like that. So I think that this is a great combination. There's a trailer. There's a truck. Let's spin it around here. Get her hooked up there. The truck looks great with any trailer, really. But I just think the little changes, even if. If they would come out with the half fenders and the chrome piece on top, I think that this could have been a great run. 
this this run of trucks here, and I wouldn't have done anything to it. But the CB antennas, I think they make make it look better too. But uh, that's just my way to do a peep that I thought looked really cool, and it was something different. I haven't seen another one like it yet, so that's just my way of doing this.